ladies and welcome back to my channel. So today in New York, it's a little drowsy. I'm feeling a little down. I feel like I just need some self love. So I decided to do my pamper routine today and why not film it for you all? So this video is going to be my pamper routine. This is gonna be everything I do with my face, my hair, my body, everything. I'm gonna be recording this whole thing on my vlog camera, keeping it super cash. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do, give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel and follow me on all my social media, which is a beauty chickie on everything. And also make sure to go and follow Tina Skincare on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, hold up. This video was filmed before I announced my tour and I'm posting it after I announced my tour. So I didn't get to say this in the intro, but guys, I am going on tour. Beauty chickies, mind your business tour 2019. Tickets are below. Make sure to check it out. And also make sure to click the bell. That way you guys get notified when my new videos go up and that is it. So with that being said, let's hop into this pamper routine. All right, so we are in my bathroom now. I'm going to just throw my hair up. All right, perfect, my hair is up. Okay, so to start my pamper routine, of course, I got to remove my makeup. And lately, to remove my makeup, I've been using the, oh, I'm dropping things. This is the Bosha Charcoal Makeup Melter. And it's basically like a balm. Make sure to wash your hands before touching your face. <laughs> so this is what this stuff looks like. And I just like to scrape a little bit of it out on the spatula. And then I will go ahead and put it onto my fingers and just rub this into to my face like so. I've been using the double cleansing method lately and I have been loving it. It's basically where you start by using some sort of cleanser or balm or oil to remove your makeup. You wash that off and then you go in again and you do a second wash your face, but this time it's to actually cleanse your face and you know, get rid of any excess oils and impurities and everything. So that's what I've been doing. So this is the first step of of my double cleansing process. I also prefer removing my makeup with this, not just because of the double cleanse, but also because makeup wipes could really pull on your skin sometimes, and this doesn't. It actually feels like a little face massage that you're giving yourself, so it's a lot more gentle on the skin. I'm also gonna make sure to rub this into my neck because I have foundation on my neck, and then once I am done rubbing that into my skin, and I think I got all of my makeup kind of melted off, I'm going to go ahead and gradually add water and it's going to basically like emulsify it make it kind of milky and it'll take all the makeup off so i'm just going to go ahead run my water and start to remove all right so i rinsed all the balm off my makeup is fully removed and now next is to hop into the shower okay guys so i'm in my shower now so i'm going to do my shower routine and i'm going to do a voiceover on it only because with the running water it'll be kind of hard for you guys to hear me so Let's switch to voiceover. All right, so we are now in the shower. We are going to start off with hair care. Having healthy hair is extremely important to me, which is why the shampoo and conditioner I use is super important to my whole routine. It can be super hard trying to find shampoo and conditioner that works for your hair. Like, I can't even tell you guys how many half-used bottles I have in my shower that just never worked for my hair. However, I recently discovered Function of Beauty, and they create custom shampoo and conditioner formulas for your unique hair type and hair goals. Every bottle is individually formulated formulator for you, so no two formulas are ever the same. My main hair goal was to try and eliminate my oily roots and get some extra volume in my hair. Especially the oily roots were a big issue for me since my roots get oily pretty fast, but after I started using the shampoo and conditioner duo, my oily roots have felt a lot more controlled and I feel like I don't have to go wash my hair every day to try and control it. It's super easy to get your hands on these. You just go online and you fill out a quick two minute quiz about your hair type, hair goals, and any personalized preferences and you get to pick the color and fragrance. I picked pink because pink just always puts me in a good mood and gives me super happy emotions. And for the scent, I picked the all eucalyptus scent, like, you know, get it, eucalyptus. I love eucalyptus. It's actually a scent in one of my favorite stress relief candles, so it just makes me feel super nice and calm and relaxed. There are no parabens, sulfates, GMOs, or toxins, and it's 100% vegan and cruelty-free. And it comes with a nice little pump for your showering ease. If you guys are interested, you could click the link below and get 20% off your first order and yeah. All right, now moving on to the other stuff I do in my shower. These little gloves are my BFF. These are just exfoliating gloves and I put these on and then I put a little bit of soap on and I just go over my whole body and exfoliate literally 
every single inch of my body. These gloves are just so convenient. Like I said, a little bit of soap, scrub all over, remove the dead skin cells. It's great and it also preps for shaving, which is the next thing. So now I'm just using some shaving cream and my razor and I am literally going to shave everything. I shave my legs, I shave my arms, which I know a lot of people don't shave their arms, but I do because girl, I get those thick Italian hairs. And then of course I'll shave my armpits, rinse that off, and that's really it for my like shower routine. Okay, I'm done with my shower routine now, so let's get out and do my skincare routine. Okay guys, so I am now out of the shower, so I'm just taking my brush. I'm going to brush my hair. Okay, so now that my hair is brushed back, I'm just going to take it with my scrunchie and just tie it quickly like that just so it stays behind my face. So I know you guys are probably really confused as to why I didn't do like the double cleanse in the same step because I said I do a double cleansing method and then I didn't do the second cleanse. So this is where the second cleanse comes in. So I don't do my second cleanse inside the shower. I do it outside the shower because I've been using my new best friend. This is a facial steamer. This one I got off of Amazon. It was like 30 or 40 bucks and this thing is freaking awesome. So what I like to do is use my steamer when I get out of the shower and I will steam my face for about five minutes. It'll just open my pores up, get everything open and flowing. I'm just filling up the water tank right now. And then once my pores are opened up and I'm ready to cleanse, I will go in with my face wash and wash my face. This is the Tina Skincare Clarity Cleanser. This is my line, Tina Skincare. Natural, it's cruelty free, it's vegan. It's an amazing face cleanser. I love it. The Clarity Cleanser is a wonderful, wonderful first step in your skincare routine. You know, wash your face up. It removes dirt and impurities. You guys can see all the steam going up now. But like I said, it'll remove all dirt and impurities and all the bad stuff that you don't want on your skin. And then you can continue with the rest of your skincare routine. And it just makes a really great base for the rest of your skincare products. So yeah, all right, the steamer is doing its thing now. I'm gonna take my towel actually and drape it over me. This helps to lock the steam in. Ah, yes, that's so much better. This is also really great if you have a cold, if you have like a stuffy nose or anything. It really helps to not only open your pores, but open your nostrils. Okay, so it has been about a little longer than five minutes. So I'm gonna keep this on. I'm just going to keep it kind of like to the side. That way it's still kind of steaming my face while while I am cleansing. So I'm gonna get close to my steamer. That way it steams my face while I am cleansing. I just kind of go in like circular motions all over my face, my forehead I focus on, really focus on my T-zone a lot, especially my chin. My chin is like a really big problem area for me, so my chin is like vital. All right, so now that I have cleansed my face, I am going to rinse my face, pat dry, turn the steamer off, and then we will continue with the rest of the skincare. So I told you guys that I was going to turn my steamer off, but I lied. I'm actually gonna keep it on because the next step is a face mask. I'm just gonna let the steamer kind of hit my face again, and then I am going to apply my favorite face mask. The reason I originally said I was going to turn the steamer off is because I don't do a face mask every single day. Um, some days I just move on to my regular skincare routine, you know, the toning and all that stuff. But of course, this is a pamper routine and I like to do face masks in conjunction with this steamer on my pamper days. So this is the face mask that I love to use. This is the mask of Magna Minty from Lush. All I do is just take a little bit out and I will rub this all over my face with this mask because it's like kind of chunky I just feel like it's easier to use my fingers so I kind of just like warm it up and then I will spread it all over my face I really want to focus this mask in my t-zone this mask just really helps me to detoxify my skin and it just feels so refreshing and good okay so I have the mask fully on I gotta rinse my fingers and then I'm actually gonna turn the steamer off. And in the meantime, I have some little things that I like to do um, while I'm waiting for my mask to dry and 
We'll chat about those once I rinse these. Okay guys, so while I am waiting for my mask to dry, I like to come over and make a little cup of tea. This is Paige's like coffee pod from this morning. But I just do hot water. And it depends on what kind of tea I'm feeling. I have chamomile, I have mint, orange, this is sleepy time. I'm going to do refreshing mint because it is still like midday today, so I don't wanna do the more calm ones. I need like a little zing to my day. So let's get out this mint one. I'm just putting my tea packet in there and start. Hello guys. So as you guys can see, I'm now sitting at my desk with my computer in front of me and my tea next to me. And usually while I am waiting for my mask to dry, at this time I like to just chill out, drink my tea, and kind of just like write down what my goals are to accomplish for the next day. If there's anything I need to get done, anything I need to remind myself of, I kind of just jot it all down um, right now on my computer, and yeah. All right guys, it is now time for me to go and rinse my mask. I've been sitting here drinking tea, working on stuff, so. It is now time, so let's go back to the bathroom. Okay guys, back in my bathroom again. I'm going to rinse my face mask off and then dry and then the rest of my skincare. All right, so my skin is dry. We're going to move on to the rest of my skincare stuff starting with toner. This is my favorite toner right now. It's from The Ordinary. It's their glycolic acid toner. This is some very, very strong stuff, so I only use it at nighttime, but I will just soak it onto a cotton pad and swipe it across my face and make sure to focus it on my chin because like I said, chin is a problem area for me. And then I'm going to kind of just let that dry for a sec. Okay, after that dries, I use my cream for my cystic acne on my chin. Not a fun thing, guys. But this, I actually don't even know what the exact name of it is. It's just from my dermatology group. I just take a small pump on the back of my hand and I will dot my face with it. And then I kind of just rub it in, mainly in my T-zone. My skin is looking a little extra rough today, actually, because I fell asleep in my makeup last night, so that wasn't fun. And then I'm going to rinse my hands before doing the rest of my skincare stuff because with that acne cream, you like don't wanna get it anywhere, like especially around your eye area. Next thing in my routine is eye cream. I use the Clinique All About Eyes. It is my favorite eye cream. I've been using it for forever. Especially I do tend to get very dry around my eyes, so this is my next little step. Just rub it in between my two fingers and pat it under my eye and all around. All right, so now that I applied my eye cream, I do moisturizer as my last step. For moisturizer, I've actually been bouncing between two moisturizers lately. Not really sure which one I like better yet, but it's either between the Tatcha Water Cream. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Or I've been trying out this little sample. This is the Drunk Elephant Polypeptide Cream. Today, I'm going to use the Drunk Elephant one. And I like to just dot my skincare products on my face before actually rubbing them in. I don't know, it just helps. And now I'm going to go ahead in circular motions and rub my moisturizer in. And of course, make sure to bring it down onto your neck. You cannot forget your neck. Once I like rub it all in, I kind of just pat, make sure it's all absorbed. And that is it for my skincare. Now the last step of this pamper routine would be moisturizing my body and self tanning. So to do that, I'm going to go into my room. So we are back in my room and like I said, my next step is self tanning and moisturizing. So if I'm gonna self tan, then I'm not going to moisturize my entire body. Body. I just only moisturize certain areas of my body. If I'm not self tanning though, I will go ahead and moisturize my entire body. But today I'm going to do a little bit of self tanning just to kind of show you guys how I self tan and what I use. I actually just put on a coat of self tan like a few days ago, so there's no need for me to do my whole body, but I'm gonna do a little bit for you guys today just to see you know, how I do it. So like I said, when I self tan, I only use a little bit of moisturizer in certain places. And this is the Sol Gennaro Bum Bum Cream. This is like the best stuff ever. As you guys can see, I have like nothing left of it because it's so good, but I still get it out. I still scrape it out with my finger. So yeah, but I will go ahead and moisturize my wrists. 
my wrists are like a problem area for me. I also go ahead and I will do my ankles and I also go ahead and do a little bit on my elbows. Since these places are a little more dry and the tanner can develop more there, I kind of just make sure to moisturize that way I don't run into any issues. So for self tanning, I use the Saint Tropez self tanner. This is the classic bronzing mousse. This one I feel works best with my skin tone because I am pretty pale. So this just kind of helps my skin get like a nice golden -y glow without it being too much. So I'll just go ahead, put on my little self tanning mitt. We'll go and pump a little product out and then go ahead and rub it into my skin as if I was using you know, any other self tanner. I'm not going to do my whole self tanning routine today just because this is a pampering routine. So all I'm gonna tell you guys is that I do self tan on my pampering days. That's how I do it. But if you guys want more of like an in-depth like how I self tan video, let me know. But once I am done self tanning, then I am done with my pamper routine. So that is it for this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and stay subscribed to my channel. Follow me on all my social medias which is beauty chicky uh, everywhere. Go and check out Tina Skincare and follow us on Instagram and Twitter and yeah. Okay once more like I mentioned in the beginning mind your business tour 2019 10 cities, get your tickets, link below. So I'm going to go now that I am done with my full pamper routine. Um, I actually get to go work on some other stuff now and yeah. But like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. So with all that being said, ciao, ciao chickies. Mm -hmm.